Hi guys, welcome back to Tom and Ollie's channel. So、um, today I'm going to、um, make another dish.、Um, so I'm gonna show us again, and because today I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a lovely seafood that I just pick、um, from English market. So today I'm quickly gonna show、um, us again the step by step, so you'll be easily to follow. And you can easily make at home. And if you love seafood, you can、uh, definitely try this. And I'm gonna show us what we're gonna make today. So now、uh, today the main dish is going to be the sea bass,、uh, the sea bass that、I、just pick up from the fishmonger in English market. So、uh, basically, how you're gonna、uh, pick up a lovely fish? You make sure the fish got a lovely, fresh color. It's not dark or Kind of slimy, and also very important from the fish eye. If it's kind of clear and kind of a shine, that means the fish still fresh. So、um, the whole fish normally I will do at home. So、um, basically, you can clean yourself or you can leave for the fishmonger to do it. Basically, you just gonna keep inside,、uh, take out all the bits that you don't want it, and also I will I will also use the skin. So、uh, make sure that the the scale is clean properly, and then just give it a bit seasoning. You can easily to get from the market as a spices for the seafood, and just leave on probably ten fifteen minutes. A little bit salt, and I'm also gonna add a little, a little bit、uh, clams on my side because、uh, I love my seafood. Either you can do that or you can pick up、uh, mussels. Any. Any seafood you like to go with your fish will do. Then、uh, move on to the veggies. I have.、Uh, I'm going to use some、uh, mushrooms,、um, also a red peppers, and also the the broccoli that I grow this year. So I just picked them from the garden. So I can use them for my sides of my plates. And I also have some potato, the new potatoes that I got this year. So from now on. I gonna shows all the ingredients step by step.、Um, so for them, the cooking time will all be different.、Uh, fish will probably takes a bit longer because it's a whole fish. So once put your tiny bit of oil into your pot or into your pan, and just kind of let your hands feel the temperature. Once it gets a bit hard, and pick up your fish, and just slowly put it down. And then let it sit there, and just move your pans that the oil goes around, so you'll be able to pan fire your fish. And remember one thing: put on your fish, leave for a while, probably、um, give a few minutes, about five, even four or five minutes. Just don't even touch it. Just touch your pans, move your whole pans like that. So that the oil goes around, so that the oil touch against the fish and your pan. So once your fish finish, the skin will comes out perfectly. But if you keep moving or try to turn the fish around, you only get the damage the the skin. So、uh, when you when you cooking your fish, it comes out will kind of not very nice. So just move like that, and once. You put your fish down. You can turn your temperature down a bit lower. So just let it cook away four or five minutes, and slowly turn your fish to the other side. And then in the end, probably put lid on, or even put the back to the oven. Just let it slow cook for another few minutes, and make sure your cook fish cooks properly. So there will be the step for the fish to start. So once your fish. Cook will be both side like this kind of crispy, and you can probably leave your oven preheat around one sixty to one eighty, just the temperature, and so you can probably leave nearly finish your cooked, but you're probably not sure if you cook hundred percent properly, so you can put on the plate and just keep in the oven to keep the keep warm. Also. Let the heat just make sure the fish cook properly. And at the time now, 
I'm going to show how to do your um, clam or even if you choose the mussels and I also will do the vegetable for the following step and also some people will probably when the fish would grow you can probably use the knife just make a tree or two depends how big the fish you can do a bit cross line so what that reason hopes uh, the fish will cook through easily uh, against the bone so you will um, make sure the fish will cook properly so that the oil and that, that, that the temperature is going against to the fish bone so that also will be the way you can do it before you put your fish onto the pan so let's uh, move on to the uh, clam or mussels what's the best and the simplest way to cook uh, your shellfish is just get a plain uh, there's no need anything not even oil, just leave the pan, leave your pot or your pan on for the heat. Make sure the heat comes out like you sure is hot. And then quickly just to put your shellfish or your clams in there. If you have some white wine or if you don't, just put a piece or tiny bit of the garlic in there, just give it a bit flavor and will comes out lovely with the sauce comes out automatic from the seawater so you don't have to add anything in there so just leave like that and put either lid or a plate on just let the steam cook the way and it only takes a few minutes a couple minutes just leave it on and it will be nice, perfectly cooked, and will be very juicy as well. At the same time, I'm also put on my uh, peppers and onions just to give it a little bit of cook. So all the dishes are cooked at the same time. So once you put them on all together on your plate, all of them will be nice and hot. So for this one, just a little bit seasoning with salt, pepper, a little bit garlic powder, any vegetable powder if you have at home. Just give it a bit flavor will do. So So now that's the whole dish already on the plate. So I guess my dinner's ready. So that's the vegetable I was cooked earlier. Also, as I was saying, the clam was only cooked a couple minutes, don't need to cook long, and after I use the the sauce left comes out from the the clam which is the sea kind of natural sweet of the water um i also make a parsley sauce which is the white parsley uh, the parsley with the white sauce cream with the tiny bit of the white wine and adding with the sauce coming out from the clam and then i'm just gonna pour it over of my dinner Because I like to keep my uh, fish skin crispy, so I gonna leave the sauce uh, on the side. So um, if you personally like to have the sauce over, you can just pour the sauce over. So today there's the sea bass uh, with clam and also um, a fresh garden vegetable on the side and new potatoes is garnish. I hope you be able to make the dish like this, which is very simple and only takes you 15 minutes. You can make lovely seafood dinner at home for yourself or for your friend. If you like my video, uh, please share and subscribe, please. Enjoy your dinner.